Good afternoon. Uh, so far today, it has been much more eventful and chaotic than we wanted it to be or thought it would be because I woke up this morning to a missed call from Chase, who we booked these flights through way back in January, and then the flights got canceled because of the Omicron variant, and Thailand shut its borders down, so then we got a flight credit, then we flew back to Bangkok, now we're here in Vietnam. So I didn't know what it was about, called them back this morning, and it turns out one of our flights home got canceled. So as a result of that, we have been on the phone with Chase, the airline, and any other person that we can talk to to get rebooked. Um, no, I would like to just get this flight rebooked. So thank you, I appreciate your time. If you can transfer me over, that'd be great. So it's been quite the morning. And currently we're here in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. And this afternoon we have to fly back to Bangkok because our original flight was gonna be tomorrow at noon out of Bangkok to go to Hong Kong and then from Hong Kong to Boston. But now, basically we are flying from here to Bangkok tonight landing in Bangkok at seven. And now our new flight is from Bangkok to Tokyo at 12.55 a.m. tomorrow morning, AKA tonight. So we have a much longer travel day, much sooner than we initially anticipated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 127,000 Vietnamese dong taxi ride. Later, we have made it to the airport. Made it through security. Stamped out of Vietnam. Now we are on the hunt for a lounge. The first one I went to was closed temporarily. So we're hoping we can get in this one. And that's when, baby. Got into the lounge. It is very quiet in here. Oh, I don't know, it was in the fridge. I also think I picked the squeakiest chair in the entire lounge. <sighs> We're gonna miss coconut coffee and pho. Look at my all the little souvenirs. We got the middle seat. Ooh. One hour to Bangkok. Made it to Bangkok. Super easy flight. We have five hours here until our flight home <laughs> that we got booked onto. However, we do have to enter Thailand because we checked our bags and we didn't get boarding passes for our flights because we got booked so last minute on them we couldn't get them online so we got to enter thailand get our bags recheck them and then re-leave thailand so oh, and this is gonna be a fun five hours a hotel tonight and now we're not true no. originally we were supposed to stay in a hotel tonight but we're not anymore so i canceled that it's a whirlwind again forgot how big the bangkok airport is this airport is massive it was really got to walk like 750 meters away <laughs> From customs. Oh yeah, it's like multiple kilometers to like get anywhere in this airport. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay, bags secured. We are in Thailand for four hours. I'm trying to figure out a food plan now. There's a few places nearby that are gluten free. So we think we're gonna drop our luggage somewhere, like a storage place, take a grab, eat, come back, and head out. This might be the quickest we've ever been in a single country. Yeah. Of course the grab isn't working. It won't let us leave, but we are hungry, so we're gonna leave. Well, since grab didn't work, gotta get a taxi. So we gotta go downstairs and get in line. We also decided to just bring our luggage with us. Probably less of a hassle than just trying to check it and like leave it in a locker or something. So see how that goes. Okay. A quick 10 minute ride from the airport. We are eating at Veganary. It's a vegan restaurant, they have gluten-free options, and the menu honestly looks really, really good. We are also the only people here. It's late, it's 8.50 8 on a Thursday. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> and it goes at 10, so we're kind of here pretty late in the day. I got the Chunky Monkey Smoothie Bowl. Mmm. 
it is chocolate like base, peanut butter, granola, chocolate chips, blueberries, and bananas. Delicious. Oh no. <laughs> The fun fact about KJ is you cannot bring him anywhere. There will be a mess. I got the chickpea pasta with mushrooms on top. It's so good. It's pesto also. Tastes vegan. <laughs> Not mad about it. And KJ also ordered us the double chocolate protein pancake. It looks delicious. It's topped with peanut butter and a bunch of fruit. I'm gonna save that for after my pasta. Maybe. We also got the holiday hash. Oh my gosh. It's hash browns that are baked with vegetables on top, including avocado and like a Caesar dressing. And it's good. That was absolutely amazing. Now we're going to the airport. I might as well stick it No, no jump. No jump. I feel kind of bad. I asked our waiter if he wouldn't mind calling us a taxi back to the airport because Grab still isn't working on my phone. And he said yes, and then he left the restaurant as I'm running down the street. So I feel really bad. I think he's going to like get one for us, but yeah, I didn't know he was going to do that. I thought he was just going to call. So <laughs> I yeah, I just feel kind of bad, but hopefully it works and we get a taxi. That'd be nice. Bye, Pope. Thank you. All right, only a hundred baht to the airport. And now we're going back in, baby. It's been a great two hours, Thailand. We do love you. <laughs> Just checked in and got seats next to each other on the side of the plane, so we're not gonna be in the middle for both flights. And my gluten free meal was confirmed, so I feel like I can breathe now. Stamped out of Thailand again. We have two hours until our flight starts boarding, so you know what that means. Time to find a lounge. So, Priority Pass, if you see us, if you're watching this, if you're watching this we use your lounges all the time. That's the I think, consensus. I think it's comfy enough. Comfy I think it's comfier than it looks. Well, comfy enough isn't good. We want comfy. Yeah, I mean, it's just very high up. Okay, it's kind of not sure. Oh, yeah. That's okay. much better. Also, can I just say that lounges outside of the United States are so much better, far and away better, than the ones inside the United States. This lounge we're in is a regular Priority Pass lounge, at least through our card that we have access with it through. And it has showers, free food like usual lounges, free alcohol like usual lounges, but it's also massive and it also looks super nice. It's very modern, it's clean, it's homey, it's cozy. It's not like a generic lounge that you find anywhere and it's really, really nice because of that. So if you wanna travel and you're looking for a nice lounge, go outside the US in my opinion. All right, we've been in the lounge for about two hours now. Time to board our flight. It's an overnight flight, classic red eye, 1 a.m. to like 8 a.m. Tokyo classic. time. So we're not gonna film this video. We're gonna sleep as much as possible. So we will see you in Tokyo. And six hours later, we have made it to Tokyo. We have a 10 hour layover here. It's about nine hours now at this point, but there are no lounges that we have access to. So we will be sitting in various chairs here in the airport throughout the day. Stop number one. Sarah is upset. I'm upset too. On the move, finding a new location to sit and maybe lie down for a nap. Okay. This would have been the perfect amount of time for a layover to go into the city, but sadly I don't know if Japan is like fully open to be able to just like pop into Tokyo and then like come back. I think we had to do like a few other things ahead of time. So not this time around. This is our third time here within the last three months. Still haven't been to Japan yet though, technically, because we haven't left the airport. Tragedy strikes again. Found a lounge online. We didn't think it was gonna be priority pass. We just thought we were gonna have to pay it again and we were willing to do it because why not? If we're gonna be here for like eight hours, it's probably worth paying for. But sadly, it's closed. On to plan C.
We are going on hour five so far. Wow. Yeah, we have about four hours left. Look who's finally awake. Took a great nap. So, proud of her. Me on too. this airport bench. It's honestly the most comfortable thing I've slept on in an airport, just like outside of a lounge. It is. There are actually two of us fit on it very comfortably. I think personally one of my favorite things is exploring the airport and going to terminals where there's like nobody around. Also kind of creepy though, because it's weird being the only person in the area of an airport. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like we could like get in trouble. Like I feel like it's wrong. I, I was feeling the same right? way. Like someone's gonna come around and be like, don't come over here. Hour number seven of this layover has resulted in, it's resulted in this. Uh, I'm ready. That was great. <laughs> Well, we've been over here in this part of the terminal for about three hours now. Dark outside, watch the sunset. We are about to go to our gate. It has been almost nine hours so far and we survived. We didn't even have a lounge to go into. We just survived on our own out in the wild of the airport. <laughs> it is dark right now. We're gonna fly into the daytime and then back into the night because sunset in Boston is around 5.15ish. We're landing at 6 p.m. Boston time, so whole flight gonna be gonna be very weird. Gonna feel very odd. Obviously, I had to fill the water bottles up. Got to stay hydrated on long flights. Oh, I was like, what did she get? Yes, gluten-free meal already in the system. Whew. Now I'm good. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. They were like, yeah, you're in the system, and I literally, like, but they were like, oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. Going back home. We are in a special row 59. 59. All the way in the front. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Oh yeah. Row 59. Last one on the plane. There's a, there's a bunch of seats open though, so. Gonna try to move, for sure. I'm trying to convince KJ to move with me. The flight is very empty, so maybe try to get a row of four to lie down across? Ten hours in update. How are we doing? I just woke up from a nap. Sarah was sleeping good across all four of these seats. Three. You oh, one of them. I was in one of them. Sorry. Did you survive? Yes. Okay. I haven't really been filming much of this flight. It's been very dark the entire time until like right now. And we're about to go back into darkness as the sun starts setting again. We did watch King Richard, which was a really good movie. Oh, yeah. Highly recommend. Yeah. I thought this was a cucumber. It's zucchini. Forty hours after we left Vietnam, we have made it back to Boston. Stay tuned, feel free to subscribe, like this video, and stay tuned for country number 20 after Thanksgiving in a couple weeks. Yay! See you then. Oh, I'm already tired, not a good sign. I can't read Thai. <laughs> Got cocoa powder on my white cardigan. We should be next to each other. I wanna be in it. Can you come up here? Can I come up? Yeah. Sarah needs to come up here. Oh, Jesus. Careful. <laughs> You're gonna kick me in the face. They're like, oh, well, the lighting's really bad. <laughs> <laughs>